Hello! This is going to be another video about a VR chat world. Um, I don't know if you've seen... Oh, sorry. My camera is a little bit zoomed out. Let's fix that a bit. Um, VR chat world um, called Project Hilo. If you watched one of my other videos about test pilots, it's the same flight system as test pilots, but this is all about the helicopters. There is no planes here. Um, the world creator named Cody, he made this world specifically to focus on helicopters because he is someone that enjoys helicopters. Um, I'm, I see IDI with him on that. I love helicopters. In fact, I was talking about that in my other video, how I, I enjoy the helicopters more than any other vehicles and as pilots. Anyway, um, one of the reasons why he made this world um, was, again, obviously it's the helicopters, but also there is no PvP. So one thing that's kind of frustrating about helicopters is they're not really meant for, you know, air to air combat. They can do it, but usually it's air to ground. Like the helicopters shoot the ground. They're at ground targets or something. So they're not a platform that's really meant to be dogfighting with jets and stuff. You know, the, the jet flies at Mach 2 and blows you out of the sky. There's nothing a helicopter can do about that. So anyway, um, but yeah, so that's that was kind of the key purpose of this world, and um, it's turned out to be quite quite an awesome world, in my opinion. Like, this is one of the better um, flight worlds out there. Um, so, first thing to know is this is... Oh, also, <laughs> ignore the avatar if you're a little perplexed by it. It's just one of my more casual avatars that I use. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the spawn. Uh, this is where... You'll spawn in. You'll be facing the direction that I'm facing now, which is this direction. And it puts you right in front of the tutorial board that you'll see in a lot of these flight worlds. Um, and, you know, if you don't know how to fly the helicopters and or, you know, maybe you're on desktop and I don't really go over desktop controls too much in my other video. You have this here to help you. Um, just know that this is mainly meant for jets and stuff like the planes. It's not so much the helicopters, so some of it doesn't apply. So anyway, um, but yeah, so then um, specifically about this world, um, oh, I just realized, yeah, anyway, I'll get there in a second. Um, the settings for the world is something you probably want to go over every time you join, the first thing you do, because there's a couple of things I recommend you do. Um, uh, so yeah, anyway, you spawn in, you see it here, just come around to the other side of this, and you have, you know, the settings, the world settings, I'm actually going to. Hit a button real quick, turn it off. <laughs> this is not my first take. This is like take three. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, just go over these settings real quick. Some of them are kind of self-explanatory, but I'll just explain them a little bit more in detail. Um, teleport to portals. So th that's the first thing here. Um, as you say, as it says up here, uh, VRC Aviation Community has a ton of worlds that they all have made. And the first thing they kind of do is they kind of put portals to each other's worlds in their worlds. And this, that's how you get there for here. So teleport to portals is that. It takes you to a whole separate island from this one, and it has just a bunch of portals there. So yeah, that's that. Um, gigantic mirror. That is um, something kind of a holdover from his development, um, Cody's development of the world. It's really just a huge mirror. So um, when you click that, take that into consideration. If you've you're on a quest or you don't have the best computer that can potentially lag you pretty hard, but it spawns out in the middle of absolute nowhere way out there. So again, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, so display smoke. That's something that I recommend you always turn off. Um, I don't, I can't speak for the quest because I don't know anything about its performance and when it comes to that. But like I, when I run VR chat, I usually super sample my game. Um, and the smoke system does not play well with that. If you super sample and you go fly through someone's smoke, your frames will tank. Your frames, your frame rate will tank. Um, so I, I recommend turning that off. And then if you don't have a super powerful system, also turn off shadows. Um, I don't think this affects quest because I don't think the quest can even run shadows. But if you notice when I click on the shadows, there's shadows on the ground. That's from, you know, this net up above so you can save a little bit of performance by turning that off i'm gonna leave that off for now just because i'm recording um and then uh join notifier i can't really show you that and just explain it it is as it sounds 
it's just a little notification in the bottom of your headset. So like, it'll be like right here in my headset's view, just kind of at the bottom uh, left. It'll just say blah, blah, blah has joined. Or sorry, it doesn't even say joined. It just says a name of a person. And if it's green, they joined. If it's red, they left. Um, some people don't like that because it's distracting. Well, you can turn it off here. So um, then you'll see there's a couple of grayed out things. The um, weapons, what does it say? Weapons effects. And then um, weapons volume. That's something that Cody would like to implement, but is not quite ready to be public yet. So just know that in the future, he'll likely make it so you can turn off the effects and turn down the weapon volume. It'll make it so it's a little bit more quiet <laughs> and, uh, you know, not as distracting. Some people like to take the the rockets that are from, the you know, some of the helicopters and they just blow up all around you and it can get really annoying real fast. So if you don't want to deal with that, you can turn it off. But again, it's not implemented quite yet. So cross your fingers that he'll get that done soon. Anyway, um, that's everything for the most part, except for one of the first key things about this world, and that's the races. So um, there's not a huge amount of things to do here because there is no pvp but the other things that you can do you just have to find because it's not really written anywhere um and i'll obviously i'm showing you that's kind of the point of this um the first thing is races so if you click switch race um what will happen if you're not paying attention nothing really seems to happen but what will happen is this board will spawn you probably saw it earlier when i had it clicked on you'll see it'll usually be like that and then you click it and it'll turn on so all it does is display your time on your race. You've probably seen this if you've been into any of the other, um, like test pilots or something. Test pilots has something similar like this. Um, but yeah, so it'll tell you the race over there in the corner. So right now it's on uh, tunnel trial. Um, you hit switch race and I'll change it to maze mayhem and hit it one more time and go to Canyon crawl. My personal favorite is Canyon crawl. Um, I think it's the majority of people's like favorite, I would say. Um, because it's the most dynamic one. The other two are kind of... They're flying through really specific structures. And it's not... I don't know. It's just not as fun, in my opinion. I like Cannon Crawl. Cannon Crawl is way fun. But yeah. And then... So that's one thing you can do while you're here is do races. Uh, excuse me. My nose itches. But yeah. You can come over here and do those. I'll show you maybe more specifically here in a minute how to like do this specific race. Not how to do it, but how to like get it started and stuff and how it all works. But for yeah, for now that's one of the things. Um, so let's go ahead and just go over a couple of little billboards that are in the world real quick. Um, first thing is this is um, the more like well-known community in VRChat for the aviation community and stuff. It's the Black Aces. Black Aces, if I could say their name. Um, yep, that's that's their information. If you ever want to join them or whatever they um are more, more about the planes and dogfighting than anything um so you don't really get to or you don't really see a lot of this these guys in here too much so anyway and then you have just a change log um some information for cody that along with that um his discord um if you guys do like a, a race um, and you did a really good time or something, post a picture of your, like, go ahead and take a picture of this and your, you know, so I can see all the information and post it in his discord. And eventually what he wants to do is get, um, a kind of leaderboards thing set up. So if you have your thing in there, maybe he'll like put it on that board at some point or whatever. So when he updates the world, it'll be on there. Um, just a thing that will, that's been discussed and he'd like to do at some point. Um, uh, change log, you know, it's just a change log. You can grab and scroll with it. That's all I really want to say about that, so people know. So you can see all the different things he's done over time. So it's not a really um, old world. This world's only been around for a couple of months. So um, you can see how how much work he's done. So yeah. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get to the the good stuff. <laughs> the helicopters. Um, oh well, first thing um, as I'm going over there. Um, if you're in generally pretty much any of these worlds with flight system from Sack Chan, he also has Avatar Flight. Uh, Avatar Flight is just, um, as it sounds, it makes you fly. So I'm flying around now, as you can tell, because my hair freaks out. <laughs> um, in order to do it, is you jump, then after you jump, you pull in one of either two of your triggers. 
um, your trigger in your right hand, when you pull that one in, it'll send you flying in the direction you're pointing. The left trigger will just send you straight up. So I'm going to fly over to the helicopters. And here they are. So you got one side over here and then another side over here. It's kind of a, a mixed bag of helicopters. Um, some because they're really quite iconic. Some are just because people requested it or specifically Cody liked it himself and he wanted it. Um, but they're a mix of like attack helicopters, um, cargo, well, cargo and like transport, I guess. And then um, you like utility and scout helicopters and stuff. So let's just start with uh, one of the newest ones. This is the Kiowa Warrior. It's um, basically a Bell platform, if you know what Bell helicopters are. Um, just armored, or not, well, probably armored, but ar armed with uh, weapons and a big old, like, really sophisticated um, camera tracking thing. So it's, a, it's kind of a scout helicopter. This is my favorite to fly. Um, it's not my favorite overall because it's, I think this thing is ugly. <laughs> um, I, so the whole thing just kind of looks ugly to me. But it flies really, uh, it's very maneuverable. Um, so maneuverable that Cody thinks he's going to probably nerf it at some point. Um, but either way, it's really fun. If you can get in here before he nerfs it and try it, like it's, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, next one is a, uh, the Viper. It is a attack helicopter based off of a Cobra, the old Cobra from uh, Vietnam. It's kind of the revamped version of that. Um, this is your first uh, attack helicopter in here. So I'll explain what an attack helicopter is. So I don't have to explain this every time. But um, you have two seats. The front seat is for the gunner. They fire this big gun here. And you use your hand to point where you want the gun to go and then use the trigger to shoot it. Um, and then the pilot sits actually in the back. And then they have control of the main armament. And then, of course, they're piloting the vehicle. So, yep, that's how the attack helicopters work here. Pretty fun. Um, this specific one I haven't flown a whole lot, but um, it's all right. It's pretty good. And then a really common transport helicopter, the Chinook. Um, nothing really complicated about this one other than it's got a side gunner here, and it can hold a ton of people. It has, like, I think... 12 seats overall so you can hold like almost the whole lobby in just this one helicopter pretty fun it's um pretty hard to fly because it's so like sluggish in its response and it's also really heavy so um if you do fly this one and you're not sure what you're doing take your time take everything really slow um then the apache another attack helicopter um it's iconic it's an older one but it's like probably the more common known um attack helicopters it's pretty fun um i would say it's probably my favorite attack helicopter here just because it's it's kind of iconic in my opinion and it looks cool so and again my opinion <laughs> um and then the um viper uh back there has a co helicopter i guess you could call it called the venom or the super huey as some people call it because it's kind of a modern take on the huey um, this one's also armed. It's also got Vulcan miniguns for the passengers, one on each side. Um, pretty fun. A um, little bit heavy, a little bit slow, but it's a good helicopter overall. And then this is one of a lot of people's favorites. This is probably the third favorite helicopter in here, um, as far as the general people is, that I've seen that come in here. And that is the Little Bird. Or the death egg, as <laughs> some people call it. I think they call it death egg. Something egg. Um, dangerous egg or danger egg or death egg. Something like that. Because it looks like an egg. Um, little tiny, tiny helicopter. But it, it, it seats six. So it's got a really powerful engine. I was actually watching a video about it the other day. And it's got like 600 horsepower. So it's a pretty uh, capable little machine. Um, it's armored. Or armed. Keep interchanging that word. Uh the passengers can't do anything other than control the camera on it. So it's really just a, the pilot gets a lot of fun on this one. Um, this particular model is the attack version, so it doesn't have six seats. It only has two. Um, just, you know, up front, the first two. Um, but yeah, it's got a big old ammo thing in the back, so this one only carries two people. But yeah, that's a really good one. Um, there's a guy that comes into this world a lot that this one's kind of badged for. Named Psycho. Shout out to Psycho. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. Um, so then we'll go to my personal favorite. 
excuse the avatar freaking out. Uh, this is the bell. 206? Is it 206 or 203? No, I can't remember. It's 206. Bell 206B Jet Ranger. Um, it's a real well-balanced helicopter. It flies very uniform in its controls. Unlike, so like the little bird that we were just looking at, um, its controls are not very uniform, so it'll pitch really quick, but it rolls slow. So it's not super intuitive, I guess, to fly versus this one. If you're ever like learning how to fly or whatever, maybe you are, you're watching one of my, that video I told people how to fly or taught to people how to fly, whatever. This is probably one that you'd want to come in here and try learning on because it's just well balanced. Um, you also generally see me fly this one. And then the next one is the Hiller Raven. It's like almost like a little crop duster, but what it's known for is in the show, it's an old, old TV show called MASH. That's the one that the show in the, like the intro scene. Um, I think it's more of a, like really simple, simple, small helicopter. It doesn't do a whole lot, but it's a really quite fun to fly. It's one of my more favorite ones. Um, this one actually is a little bit confusing to some people when they first approach it. Um, that's because there's three seats and the pilot sits in the middle. So keep that in mind. If you want to get in, get in the middle seat. <laughs> anyway, and then next one is the very well known because I'm sure you know most people that fly helicopters in VR chat have been in test pilots, and that helicopter is this one this h1 so the guy that made um the whole flight system sack chan this is the one i think sack made this exact model um but yeah it's his model and it's just in here so if you're used to that model or whatever and there you go you got it here um not a whole lot to say other than it's an attack helicopter but not the same kind of attack helicopter as the other ones we've seen so far this one um the second person that's in it actually controls this side gun which is interesting um but yeah, other than that, that's probably the only thing really unique about it. Um, well, compared to the other ones in here. And then this is probably the second most um, popular helicopter in this world. The one that was probably fought over some of the most. Uh, it's probably actually a close tied between this one and one I'll show you in a minute. That is the Huey. The uh, original Vietnam era Huey. Um... Not a whole lot to say other than it's a utility helicopter. Um, this one's armed, so this is the attack version. Um, it's got you know rockets and uh, guns and everything, but also the um, crew have M60s. Um, just know there is a bug right now with the current world. Cody needs to fix that. I'm watching you, Cody. <laughs> one of them doesn't work, and I think it's uh, I think it's this side that doesn't work. So. You have to tell your passengers to get in the other side if they want a gun. Anyway, and then next one is the Havoc. It's an old Russian... Is it old? I don't even know if it's old, but it's a Russian helicopter. It's their attack, one of their attack helicopters. I don't know much about it. I don't really like flying it. It's kind of heavy. He did recently change it. So if you were in this world a long time ago, like, you know, a month ago or something, um, he did change the way this flies a little bit. It's a little bit easier to fly now. Um, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. But it's also, you know, it's a tack helicopter, so you got the two two um, seats. And then um, this is the last helicopter. Well, last helicopter in the world. Um, this one's probably just as iconic as the Huey and probably just as popular in this world. And that is the Blackhawk. Um, this is also probably the most feature packed in here. Cody spent a lot of time. Um, he kind of like, this is not his baby because I don't think he actually prefers to fly this helicopter, but it is in the project wise. So like he spent the most time bringing this one in. So he made it. So, um, as you can see here, the front doors are open right now. Um, these rear doors will open. You can slide them open and closed and whatnot. Um, and yeah, so it's just got a lot of different little features that the other ones kind of lack. Um, it's got two Vulcan miniguns, just like the uh, Venom. So passengers can use that. The uh, main pilot obviously doesn't have any armament. There's no armament on this. It's not like an attack one. Um, the Vulcans are probably more for, like, you know, defense or whatever. And then the passenger on this one just controls a camera. So, yeah, um that's that's all the helicopters well there is one secret thing in the world good luck finding it but anyway 
<laughs> that's that's all that um i'm gonna go ahead and get in a helicopter and show you the couple other things that you can do here i was mentioning the races so we'll go ahead and just show you the race and then i'll show you a couple of other things that you can do one's kind of obvious the other one's not actually the races and this other thing a lot of people don't even realize they're a thing in here so i'm gonna go ahead and show you those i'm gonna go ahead and get in the kiowa uh, i'm gonna change my camera real quick though so bear with me while i flip that around because god knows i do not Edit my videos. <laughs> um, there, hold on. I'm gonna flip this around so I can see what I'm doing. Um, there we go. And then I can bear with me. I do this. Local and lock. Okay. So the camera. I'm getting a nice little action camera view there. In fact, I want to pull back the. There we go. Give it a little higher field of view. Hi. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just to show you the race real quick. So that I, if you remember when um, I selected the races over there, and you can actually see one of the things, um, one of the gates. I selected Canyon Crawl. So Canyon Crawl, you actually start over here. You can see there's a couple of gates. One's got blue particles coming off of it. The other one's got yellow. So what that indicates is the blue one is the start gate. So when you go through that, that's going to be the start of your timer. Okay. So, and you'll see this yellow gate, once you go through it, it turns green. That indicates the next gate you need to go to. So we'll go through this one and then they continue on over here. So green is the next one. Yellow is the one you'll do after. But yeah. So that's just the race. I'm not going to do a race because it takes a minute and kind of pointless to really show you but this segues right into the next thing so um as i was saying earlier there is no pvp here but there is targets so you can use the guns and everything to shoot these targets down and which ends up being a couple you know a few tanks scattered around the map um so they're just like in sack chan's world where they're big targets the big like actual target looking targets they're same thing it's just stationary tanks instead of big target target things so yeah you can shoot those um there's a bunch spread around the whole map there's like 20 ish there's another one up here um you can use that just to you know have fun in different ways you can rp or you, you can um you know just target practice or whatever there's a few down here yep um so that's the second thing you can do so there's races Targets. And then the third thing to do is pretty obvious, as I was saying earlier. Just fly around. Stunt. Do crazy shit. <laughs> like, one thing I like to do is just go fly through things as fast as I can. Woo! Um, and yeah, that's basically the world. Um, trying to think if I missed anything, anything important. Uh, there is a mirror if you want to check out your avatar or whatever. There's a mirror down here. And then there's that gigantic mirror I was talking about earlier. And then there's a mirror up here at this little picnic table. This is kind of like the gathering spot where people like to park their helicopters up here and gives <laughs> a good view of the whole world. But yeah, there's a mirror right here too. So, um, There is a giant maze over here. That's what this giant structure is. Um, that's part of the maze mayhem or whatever race is. Uh, there's these tunnels. You can fly pretty much all the helicopters through these, except for the Havoc, that Russian helicopter. It's so big, it doesn't fit. You can actually fit the Chinook better through those helicopters than you can the Havoc. Um, and I think that's about all of it. That, that is um, Project Hilo. Um, again, if you don't know how to fly the helicopters... And you would like to know, um, check out my channel and find the other um, video that I did for test pilots and teaching people how to um, fly them. Oh, whoops, what am I doing? Excuse me and my camera skills here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, test pilots um, video, I showed how to fly helicopters kind of briefly i may end up making another video um it'll probably end up being with this the world creator of this here world cody um he you know he would like to 
explain things a little bit more in depth. Um, and I, since that previous video about flying helicopters, I've learned more about how these fly and how they function. So I can give you a little bit more detail of how things work and he will as well. So that's why he wants to uh, do a little collab there. So look for that video if I ever make it. Um, and yeah, that's, that's Project Hilo. Uh, I do highly recommend this world, but um, just keep in mind that people are here to like fly, not PVP. So don't come in here to try to be rude and do things to prevent that or whatever. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and, um, see ya.